Hello, hello. I wanted to get up to speed on feeds. So we're going to use um, the first trillionaire website I got in the works. And hopefully after this, I can just clean it up and launch it. So I hope this works out. Um, it's been a little while and feeds is not exactly simple or um, it's at least not set up to to pull in an RSS feed and everything all automatically. So let's take the first step and find a feed. Um, billionaires, billionaire news, RSS. Let's try, I want an RSS feed. What is RSS? RSS, what is? RSS, RDF site summary or really simple syndication is a web feed. It's a web feed and we'll find a sample one and have a look at it. Top 10 Forbes RSS feeds. What is this? Money. Whoa. I don't know what's going on. Email us. How about you just scram? I'm going to pick the first one then. It's the only one I can see. Uh, follow RSS. Just a kid. Feed, there it is. Here's an RSS feed, and this is the really simple syndication format. Version 2.0. Um, it's XML, as you may or may not see, or can tell. Uh, I didn't mean zoom wise, but I did. Uh, what I meant was um, if you haven't seen XML before, this is what it looks like. It's a lot of custom tags. Um, schemas schemas are a whole other thing. I'm not going to get into everything, but this is an RSS feed. And <clears throat> as you can also see, they have items. This one has an item. I don't know if this uh, particular, all these links are following a schema. Maybe I have to get into it. A schema defines the shape of your XML. Uh, these are namespaces. These, there may be, what I'm saying is there may be a schema out there that defines how this um, RSS feed XML is laid out, like these categories, uh, media content, Ski, I'm going to search control F and start searching for schema. I don't see anything about schema. So let's assume not. doesn't matter. Point is, this is a feed and you can see a lot of things in here like this link, title, description, uh, creator, orb staff, Derek Soul, Mr. Soul. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to keep the feed and we'll just put it in the holster over here. Now, feeds documentation at drupal.org, node big number. This is the overview summary of the features of feeds. Let's have a quick look. Feeds is a pluggable system for importing or aggregating content into Drupal. Aggregating, of course, is um, what? How do you define it? I can picture it in my head. Form or group into a class or cluster. Computing, collect, related items of content so as to display or link to them. Tools that aggregate data from all the security devices are a good first step. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but that first part was awesome. Computing, collect related items of content as to display or link to them uh, it perfectly defines what we're attempting to do all right these is out of the box feeds supports import or aggregation from rrs s s feeds adam feeds i did see adam in that feed uh i don't know how to describe what atom is Atom RSS. The Atom format was developed as an alternative to RSS. Atom compared to RSS2. 
when Atom emerged as a format intended to rival or replace RSS, CNET described the motivation of its creators as follows. Miners, opponents are seeking a new format, blah, 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 blah. Brief description of some way. I was hoping it would say something more about RSS 2.0 support for enclosures led directly to development of podcasting. While many podcasting applications such as iTunes support the use of Atom 1, RSS 2.0 remains the preferred format. I don't know. I guess it's a blend. I have no idea. We're going to assume it's usable in our application. Import from XML, blah, blah, blah. Granular mapping. Um, this isn't a deep, deep dive. I just want to get this site done. So do your own reading, folks. Um, yeah, that first bit was good enough for me. Maybe not. Let's see. Granular mapping. Generation of users, nodes, or terms. We're going to be generating nodes. For, uh, yeah, nodes, maybe terms. Granular mapping, the example, map, the auth, blah, 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 blah. Multiple simultaneous configurations are going to be types. We don't need all that. No, aggregation, periodic import on cron. So cron is a whole other topic we have not touched. Um, pub, sub, hub, bub. Huh, what's that? Pub, sub, hub, bub. An open, simple web scale and decentralized pub sub protocol. Interesting. I'll have to look at that later. Extending feeds. We don't want to get into that yet if we don't have to. Uh, Drupal 10. Structure. Let's look at extend. Minimize the manage. Search for feeds. No. Overview feeds. We're going to go to the project page from this link. I just control clicked and then control tab to do shortcut to Firefox. All right, feeds. We already covered kind of uh, installation. <laughs> there, here we go. We found the 8.x 3.0 beta 3 released December 8th, 2022. And here's the composer line we're interested in to big changes to this last release. News feed. New feeds, log module, and Drupal 10 support. Okay, so that covers us. Thank goodness. Here we were in this terminal. Uh, why is that? I like to keep clean. So, DDEV, we're using DDEV. DDEV status, it's running. Looks like that. And probably can't see behind me. Anyway. What do I do about that? Get me out of the way? Let's shrink me. Ooh. Scram, dude. We got code to look at, or at least a shell. Clear. All right. DDEV status is what I did earlier. That was it. Okay. DDEV. I'm going to paste in with a control shift V the composer command I copied from that website over yonder. There we go. Let's roll. No errors. We're all good. And if you want to go over what we just did, is we use composer to require the Drupal feeds module and it's specified uh, using, what do you call that? SEM versioning um, 3.0 at beta. Okay, so we have it installed. It went, oh yeah, it updated the composer.json by alt click it, control click it. It opened up here. You, if I control F and type feeds, it's right there. That's what it just did. See, if you look at the git blame, it's like you six seconds ago on something. Um, it's uncommitted. That's what it says. 
Uh, locking Drupal feeds, a couple other packages, downloads them, installing, meaning it extracted them. It didn't actually install them in Drupal yet. We have to do that now. So we do a dev drush en. It's called it's called feeds feeds enter successfully enabled and i'm going to close this window go back to extend and refresh and if we have a look for feeds again there it is but this one is enabled because we just did it over here in trush uh, feeds logs is also available and I'm not going to touch it yet, just in case. Um, I'm going to start bare bones and we'll enable it if we encounter any errors. Okay, what do we do now? Oh, yes, it's enabled. <laughs> Let's go muck about manage um, structure feed types. I'm going to click on feed types so we can just have a look at the page. Uh, we should uh, um, try not to get off track, but we should take care of that later. Um, add feed type. Create one or any feed types for pulling content into Drupal. So the goal, of course, is to pull some of that Forbes uh, content into Drupal. So there are no feed type entities yet. Before I start clicking around, I'll be a good lad and... Uh, Look at the docs back from the overview. Creating and editing import feeds. Create a feed type, which is what we were doing. Old version of Drupal. It's the problemo with the, um, it's a problem with the docs. And that's why I say F it. And let's just roll, add feed type. Basic settings, a unique label for this feed type. This label will be, will be displayed in the interface. So this will be, let's just call it Forbes. Um, and I'm not going to give it a description. I'm not gonna explain myself. I'm gonna just do it. Fetcher, download from URL. Look at that, perfect default. Parser, RSS, Adam. If we have a look at the available options, though, going back to Fetcher, we have a directory. And it changed some settings down here. It's still updating. Cool. We're not going to play with it. Upload file, same diff. We're going to download from URL. The parser, so it's asking us what type of feed are we intending to uh, shove down its throat. Uh, it is an RSS atom, but as you can see, there's sitemap, sitemap XML type available, OPML, I have no idea what that is. A CSV is a comma separated value file, text with commas, or these days semicolons and such, because it's very hard to get by with commas alone. Uh, processor, this is where we want to stick it. What do we want to do with each feed item? Let's have a look at the item. So each item has a link, a title, a description, author, content, media content. And I guess that's it with the categories. Uh, anyhow, we're going to want to put that into a node. The other options being comment. I'm, I also don't know what this is. I'm not just reading it for fun. Or for you, I mean. Contact message, custom block, custom menu link, file, node. I mean, yeah, no poll. Poll choice. Oh, that's because we have the poll module installed, of course. I just, I, I think it's an exhaustive list of all our entities. Maybe. No, of course not. Um, bundles, maybe they're called. I got distracted for a sec. Drupal's complicated. I think they're called bundles, but who knows? 
I don't know, maybe these modules just offer up processors. I'll have to consult with the docs later. So we want a node. Well, you can create your own feed from the feed. Yeah, anyhow, we want a node because that is the basic. Oh, we need a content type. Look at that. Oh, we have article. Let's use article. It's built in. Uh, what are the settings? Import period every hour. Coolio. As you can see, there's quite a bit of choices, but I'm going to leave it at every hour. Requires, requires cron to be configured. Requires, requires cron to be configured. Fetch your settings. Auto detect feeds. If the supplied URL does not point to a feed, but an HTML document, attempt to extract the feed URL from the document. Now we're gonna we're gonna point it straight. And we're not using pop up sub sub pop up. Always download, always download the feed, even if the feed has not been updated. No, we don't want to do that. <clears throat> Request timeout. Why does that sound weird? Request timeout. Timeout in seconds. Wait for an HTTP request to finish. 30 seconds sounds reasonable to me. Processor settings. Anglais. Not specified, not applicable. Uh, all we do know it's English. Is it specified? Uh, home. I don't see any. Oh, ENUS right there. Yeah, if you didn't see that, language is ENUS, which is, of course, English United States of America. Processor settings. Insert new content items. Do not insert new content items. New content items will be will be determined using mappings that are unique target. A unique target. I don't know what that means, but we're going to just go with insert new content items. Update existing content items. Do not update existing. Replace existing. Update existing. Uh, we're going to... Pres... Uh, we don't really care about keeping a real time uh, updated feed. Um, so we're not going to touch any of that. We're just going to be happy it imports once. <clears throat> Advanced settings, authorize, check that the author has permission to create the content. Okay. New revision, save as a new revision. Nope. We're going to save now and add mappings as it requires. Define which element of a single item of a feed sources map to which content pieces in Drupal. To avoid importing duplicates, make sure that at least one definition has an a unique target. A unique target means that a value for a target can only occur once. For example, only one item with a U. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Link. Link is... I was looking for ID, but I did see link. And it is the first. And it made sense. So... And unique target means that a value from... Or a target from... Yeah, okay. It just keeps... On read only targets... A value can only be set the first time. Blank sources can be used for tampering. See the documentation. I don't even know what it's talking about yet. I don't know. Let's have, let's have a look first. Let's see the mapping documentation. You'll need to edit the mapping of your feed type before a feed of that type will import content successfully. The parser you selected when creating the feed type will affect how the mapping works. If you selected CSV, nope. You'll define sources based on headers in your CSV file and map them to the target fields of your content type or user or term. 
if you selected our SS atom OPL or XML sitemap, you'll map predefined sources to the target fields. So that is important. Importante. If you selected RSS atom, oh, whatever. I don't want to keep reading that, and I need to keep reading this over and over. If you selected RSS atom, you'll map predefined sources to the target fields. Predefined sources, title, description, published date item, blah, 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 blah. Example, I'm not going to keep reading all these because I don't want to get confused. Selecting a target, start mapping, select target from a drop down, an empty mapping page for a feed. What do we got? Title, description, item, URL, and item GUID. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty small, and the image doesn't get bigger. Doesn't get bigger. Okay. Um, let's just go for it. Maybe not. What did it say again? <laughs> title. Title, of course. Oops. I don't know how the, I must have accidentally selected tags at some point. Source. Okay. Let's back up. Remove. We're back to square one. And we're going to, we're going to look for, I got to write it down. Title body or sorry description item url item guid i don't know if we have all that but we can check it out that one is telling us unique Boop, boop. Okay, we're going to wing it again. We're starting with that title. You saw what I just did, which was select the target, and I select the title, and we are on the mapping Forbes still. Uh, summary, select the source. So... The target is the tar title of our article. The source would be the feed title. Let's have a look. Item title. We don't want the feed title. We want the item of the article, the article item title. So item title. Does it exist? It's just title. There we go. Title title. Source target title title. Configure what happens. Language default source. Oh, that was I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, cancel. We're gonna leave that as is. There's the description. Baby. Yeah. What are we doing? Nine inch nails going on. Uh, we're going to look for another target. We also want that description. But we don't have a description. So this is a list, I'm pretty sure, of all the fields available in the article content type. Let's have a look. We go to manage structure, co not comment types, but content types. And if I control click it, we get a new wind tab. There's article, let's manage fields. Minimize that. And here we go. We got body, comments, feeds, item, image, and tags. Let's move this aside over here for a moment. Go back to our mappings and have a look at our targets. So body we have a body i'm just going to select that for now because i don't want to forget it this looks like what i saw in the docs 
the very hard to see the old version of Drupal. Uh, as you can see, it has source description. This description links up with this body text. They have they don't have a source selected for the summary um, because there is no summary. There is just the description which we want in the body. A description body format plain text that's good I'm gonna leave it alone what else do they got item URL link of course so we want to select another target what were we looking for a link there we go link Now, 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 now. I guess, no, not the alias. Show me again. Item URL, link. What do we have over here? We have link. Language. Oh, I'm I'm confused myself. This is the of course it is the Drupal node that we want to feed those into. So looking at this image, it's obviously feeds item item URL that I should be looking for. Feeds item. There it is. It gives us this block of two sources and two items so let's find them feed item i'm going to keep looking at the image which is probably best served over here item url item guid whoops item url link item guid There they are. Item URL link, item GUID. <laughs> Looks exactly the same, just an updated uh, thingamajig. They give you a big, um, what are they, what's this called? I just read it, legend? Yeah, legend. They give you a big legend for all this, all these fields. Which is very cool, but I'm not going to go through that right now. It's quite a lot. I'm going to hit save. And remember, we are on mappings, feed types, and I created Forbes, and this is the mappings. I'm going to hit save. And it's saved. What next? Close that. Close that. Uh, close that. And then we will figure it out. Custom sources. Okay, we got our feed type. Now we're going to want to do something with it. What that is, I don't know. No coffee. Uh, the module, not the drink. Drupal coffee. Um, 
How to use a blank source? Nope. Okay, copy. Uh, just bear with me for one second. I'm installing copy, which is awesome. Gives you this type of uh, quick silver, quick search, whatever. Yeah, brush the end. Two apps. Two. Double F double E successfully enabled. We'll do a reload here. If I Alt Shift B, I get copy. B admin content B. That's right. In content, of course. So in manage content. So same thing is going to here. The tabs, content, comments, feeds, 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 feeds. See? All right. So now we can add a feed because we have a feed type to work with. And this will be Forbes. Again, feed URL. I'll copy and paste the URL. Import options active. Uncheck the above checkbox to disable periodic imports. No, thank you. Authoring info, which is me, the admin. Save and import. And cross your fingers. Right on. Created 25 article items. Forbes has been created. I read that upside down. Uh, let's see what we do next. Control R hard to read oh that's because my theme sucks um i don't care about that right now let's see the speed we got well you probably can't see it at all though we got we're at feed one and it shows us the source all right let's fix the theme inspect I'm going to attach it. I meant to do it to the bottom. Dock to bottom. This is the dev tools. Control shift I in Firefox. And we are looking. For, I'm going to. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? We're on the inspector. I want to inspect this bit right here. So I want to end up making this white. Or something. Begin output from. This is my custom theme, Drupaliness, which you can find in here. I hope you can see that. We are in uh, Droops. I got to rename that eventually to First Trillionaire, but we are in Web. Mm, nope. Web. Close that. Themes, Drupaliness, and this is all our CSS and Twig and JS, I guess, if there's any. Now, I don't want to go in that far. Let's go to, where is this from? Article begin, output from, this is the Twig debugging. Begin output from contrib feeds templates. How about we go up more to the div region? If we were to double click this and put style equals color colon white and close it up, it changes it for us. So let's find this and put a tailwind class on it. If I, oh, this says, theme drupaliness templates layout region dot html so over here drupaliness templates what templates i'm in templates layout yes layout what did i say again okay, region just region okay uh let's close this minimize that we are looking at the Web themes, Drupalinus templates, layout, region.html.twig. And we want to add another class. And I want to add class, uh, text-white to the end of this class. 
twiggery text dash white i don't know if that'll work because uh of how i don't have a just-in-time compiler for um for tailwind nah that's not gonna work and that's in the CSS already <clears throat> from somewhere else. Uh, let's just try it and see what happens. How do I do that? I got a CD web themes Drupaliness enter and then npm run enter to find out what we got. We have dev and build. So we want up arrow npm run space dev which will watch our files which are set up in the tailwind config.js so it's looking at these files i don't know if it will recognize x white in this twig class or if it's only looking in like class whatever so let's find out if it works i saved the file and you can see it rebuilt down here if i refresh over here it's still white so that's good that's what we wanted and really that's all for now source okay let's look at the content i'm going to close the dev tools go to manage Content, minimize that, go back to a reasonable zoom level and look at our content list. I didn't show it to you before, but these did not exist, I assure you. And if we have a look at the top one, it says, whatever that says, Irissa, attorney Marcia Wagner, Wagner. Let's search for Vagna. This is the item right here, but why is it way in the middle? I assumed it would have been the first or the last, but it was not. But I don't care. Doesn't really matter. Uh, presumably, I guess we didn't grab a created date pub date we would have to get the pub date to to be able to sort on that um i don't know if we're not going to do that just yet we just we gotta we gotta do something with these articles now that we have them and that means i'm gonna close that now that means back to site just to to have a look at the home page i don't want you how do i get to the home there's a home button right there Okay, just to, to get some posterity here, to get some, get a snapshot of what we want to edit. Um, here we are, we have the, the view, the Drupal view that pulls in our trillionaire um, content type nodes. So we have a candidate that's what it's called it's called a candidate this content type holds bio data on the potential trillionaire and then if you look at content we have two guys two dudes we're gonna filter this content type we can use the uh the exposed filter here in on the content admin content page to look for the candidate and then hit filter and there we go we got a new list and it just has the two candidates that i entered previously um musk and jeff uh, previous mm. okay jeff and musk now down here we have a poll who will be the first trillionaire i'm the only one who voted so far I can cancel my vote. Look at that. Cancelled. Your vote was cancelled. Who will be the first trillionaire? Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos? Uh, let's let's click on Jeff and hit vote. Here we go. We got I revoted. Okay, anyway. 
that feed we want to make we want to check the views excuse me so we're going to go to manage views minimize the manage not the candidate feeds that's for the that view is for this page and i guess that's it so we're going to create our new feed i mean a new view <clears throat> for a list of the articles add view this will be called Forbes, and that's it. Nothing special. Content, we want to show content, yes, of type article. Hold on one second. I'm just going to control click this to see if is there an article view? No, there is no article view already. Okay, I just I, I opened a new tab, so I'm going to close that, go back to the new view content type article and that's it we want to create a block right. called forbes unformatted list uh, uh, let's go with yeah an unformatted list of titles link that's it items for block five looks good use pager save and edit Uh, I'm gonna hit that advanced over here. This is the the standard Drupal view edit page, and we are editing a block. There's the block. Advanced. I want to hit the uh, Ajax. Yes. Use Ajax, please apply. So we don't do a refresh when we use the pager. And if we scroll right down, we get a preview and there's a nice little chunk of our articles that we imported five of 25 okay you can try the preview as you can see it's ajaxed up and we're just going to save it as is that's it let's look at the home page again back to site and we don't have anything yet because I didn't do anything with it. So let's go to manage structure block layout. We got to create a block from our view block. If that makes sense. All right. Place block. This is in the header region. We don't want it up there. We want it in which region? let's have a look at the demonstrate block regions whoa it's not readable i just did a control a to like uh select all the text and make it a little more readable so there's the header block we don't want it up there um i know because i placed it but the trillionaire who's it gonna be candidate view is in the hero and then uh the poll is in the content region so let's see what else we got footer right sidebar left sidebar content let's put it in content under now let's try to put it in a sidebar let's try to put it in uh, clicking on my obs uh let's try to put it in the right sidebar so exit block region demonstration zoom level back to normal right sidebar i'm going to search for control f right sidebar right here we found it way down here in the right sidebar region we're going to place a block no blocks in this region currently let's try it out uh, we don't want to add custom block because it's not a custom block it should be in the category view i believe list there it is list views orbs there's our our new view that we created in the, just a moment ago anyway place block display title forbes yeah that's cool items for block five default setting that was set in the view uh 
you can override the title if you like. Forbes Randoms. And we're going to leave that overwritten title with Forbes Randoms. Which pages? We just want it on the front page. And that's about it. We're going to save it as is. Now we'll check the front page. Back to site. Woohoo. There we go. We're getting there. So let's call that done on feeds. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to see the end result of all this jumbleness, uh, keep following. Subscribe, comment, whatever. See you later.